Where is Eric Wallen? Eric Wallen. Attorney General Eric Wallen. Oh, no, that's right. Eric Wallen is going to give our ceremonial toast this evening. Sorry, Helen, I wasn't prepositioned here. <laughs> you know, I wrote all these great quotes of Reagan down, and, and, I, and I, I can't see them, so. We all know most of them. Drat that getting older thing. Thank you, Helen, very much. And good evening to all of you. Yeah. It's an honor to be here in a room packed so full with Republicans. And even more of an honor to be here in celebration of, uh, of President Reagan. There have been in history just a handful of presidents who have inspired a generation to public service, which Ronald Reagan did for me. There have been a handful of presidents who have inspired our nation and the very world towards freedom and democracy. Ronald Reagan did that. But there have been even fewer whose legacy marked not just a point in history, not just a sequence of events over eight or four years, but instead a blueprint for the future. And that's what Ronald Reagan has left to us in his legacy, a blueprint for modern conservatism. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we gather here tonight to celebrate what Ronald Reagan represents. And for each of us, he represents something different. And that, in of itself, is the blessing of Ronald Reagan and his virtue. So tonight, I ask you to raise your glasses. Ronald Reagan said once, that change in America begins at the dinner table. So tonight, as we gather around our tables, with our friends, and with our fellow conservatisms, with our fellow conservatives, let us commit ourselves to change, not just for the sake of change, but for all that is good and just, and thank the Almighty for the blessing of Ronald Reagan, his leadership, and what it meant to this nation and to this world. To Ronald Reagan. Yeah. 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 Yeah.